everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel, I'm Jamie, this is Jackie. And we're about to embark on another little series. This time it's a surprise mini series, because this has just been moved really late. Jackie's booked this for my birthday. I know where I'm going. Jackie knows where we're going, thankfully. Well, I hope it's going to be booked it. <laughs> so we're swapping Windy Newcastle for. In this little mini series, we're gonna be showing you around Ibiza. Well, probably Ibiza town because that's where we're heading. We haven't really had time to plan anything, so we're kind of just gonna do this off the fly. And we're flying with Ryanair, so in this episode, we're gonna show you our Ryanair experience. We'll give you the cost breakdown of everything. So in terms of the flight, uh, how much things cost on board, how much it is to include your bags, how much a taxi is from the airport to where we're staying, price of our accommodation and we'll show you the online process for the hotel because it's been slightly different than what you would normally get. So we're going to go inside now Oh, and also weather dependent hopefully we're going to get to use it a bit for the first time and try this out but we are in the midst of a storm so we've got Storm Babette here in the UK which I think is actually going to hit Spain as well. So the weather was looking great, but now it's turned it's again. Turned it's it's looking fast. a bit windy and a bit rubbish. So we'll see how it is. It's still going to be warm, but we're going to go through security now, and we'll check back with you when we get through. Firstly, the security was alright actually. Pretty quick, wasn't it? Five, ten uh, minutes. Yeah, yeah. We didn't no. have any bag to check in, that was straight through. Straight through, just got my hand luggage, so usually we'd bring a case, but for something like this, we don't usually bring anything for just to show it through. But anyway, the price we paid for these Ryanair flights was £211.38, is that correct? Yeah. So £19 or something common. Nineteen going out each and five pounds back. Then the rest is your bags. Yeah. How much were the bags worth? Can you remember the price? Because I don't. I think it was thirty pounds something going, and it was cheaper coming back. Yeah. I can't remember what. So all together, two hundred and eleven pounds thirty eight pence plus the bags on top. So I'll put the price on here. Um, but bearing in mind this is out of season. This is now October. We'll be running into the kids' holidays, but I think everything in IP has pretty much started closing down. Yeah, we had all the closing parties last weekend, yeah. and I think there is a flight next week's the last one, and then there's no more for 
new Welsh new class of musical yeah. anywhere else. Yeah, so that's the price of the rye in a pint. The price of a pint is about £7.50. This is the neck room. Crackers. We'll give you the price of our hotel when we arrive now, because obviously we're going to show you the hotel. We'll show you the price. I think we're just going to get a taxi from the airport after we've got the money in. Oops. That's about it. So we'll give you the price of the taxi from the airport to Ibiza town. It's only about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away from the airport, it's not too far. From what I've read, it's about between 15 and 20 euros yeah. for a couple of We'll also show you the price of drinks on the Ryanair flight. I'm sure a lot of you are probably familiar with the actual flight and what you get. I mean, a very basic. And Ryanair do get a lot of criticism, but to be fair, I've never had a problem with them. I've always found them spot on. They always get you there earlier than they're going to say. This flight should be about, it says three hours, but I'm thinking two and a half. Two hours, fifty-five. Yeah. But yeah. It all depends on the winds and stuff as well. So one other thing to mention is we've paid for car parking for five days. So we put this through Holiday Extras, and I think you did it, didn't you? Because yes. I was getting a different price of Jackie, there was about two pound difference or something. But Jackie got it for £74 and... 49 Yeah, something stupid. <laughs> But yeah, I mean the prices we used to get uh, like 10 days for that price. So you're getting like 5 days for another 80 pound which is quite, quite expensive. I just look for like discount codes and um, one clip of a holiday extra for like 10% off. Yeah. But I managed to find a cheaper one for like 12%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have these pints and then we'll be going through the gate to get off flight. So here's the one after. And then you go And you Okay, we're gates up, so we're heading down to the flight now. Let's see what it's like getting on board. Okay, one thing we didn't mention before was that we haven't boot seats, so we're sitting separately. So if you book with Ryanair, you've obviously got to book. If you want to sit together, you've got to book seats together, which we haven't done. I mean, I'm ready for a break from Jackie anyway, so <laughs> we'll do my fine. But yeah, you've got to pay. It's usually about, I think it was like eight, nine pounds or something. How busy the flight is and what, how far in advance you book. And again, it all, I think it all depends how busy the flight is and how much the cost of the actual seats are. So we've just opted to, to go as cheap as possible. We've just come back from Turkey. We've spent a fortune in Turkey. So we're just doing things as cheap as possible.
nobody in the three rows in front of the uh, the games. Probably the time, yeah. It is a bit busier than I expected it to be. So no, everything's run pretty smooth so far. I think we've taken off a little bit late, but they usually make up time anyway. That usually pretty good. So we're just waiting for drinks now. We've only been up for about ten minutes. We usually come around pretty quickly. So we'll let you know what the prices are on board. Lasagna and lasagna. Please feel free to stop me and my colleagues will pass through the cabin. I'll just like remind that this is the passion flight and we'll be in the card payment. Okay, so getting some drinks. We're getting wine, getting a little bottle each, just a white wine. Getting two great goose bockers and coke as the mixer. And then we got asked if we wanted to make a sandwich and meal deal. We've got some crisps for that. So it's coming a grand total of 39.30, so it's not very cheap, which never is on flights, but then we probably wouldn't usually get like a panini on board, don't usually get anything you need on board, but just to give you an idea of what the prices are like, and you say we probably wouldn't usually, we probably normally just get like a lager or something, and then there's a spirit really later on, no, no, there's not much left on the flight to be fair, so that was only like Heineken. I think they said they might have them already at the back on the on that trolley, but never mind, uh, it's my birthday and we're on holiday, so let's just splash out once. So, the table isn't great, I mean, but I've got my knees under the table at the minute, but if I move... It's not great. So I'm having the balance of my knees. Energized, yeah, so it's not the best. Let's get the wind. Yeah. So my legs are going to be killing by the time you get on. My this legs are good. Have a cheesy? No. Yeah. Cheesy does it. is actually on the app as well and there's a code on here but again you need to have data so you just kind of kind of view it so you can't see the prices probably a bit sneaky actually but never mind we're going to enjoy what yes that's quite sensible you've got the Ryan Air app check on there before they have got like an in-flight magazine and I'm sure it's got the menu and everything and prices on there. And I think you can download it, so... And if you have it, you can say code on the wagons. Scan it before you take you off. Yeah. Before you take off.
So what a palaver. I'm getting the passport control. Everybody starts piling in. And then we're getting told to wait by a guy right at the far end. And they've got the gate open, like the ribbon bit that you come through. Everybody's getting told to stop and go back. So we've gone back. Then we've had to come back around. Obviously it snakes around. Then we got there and... Yes. Just quite unorganised, really. I mean, that's no fault. No one fault of Ryanair's. That's that's the airport's fault. It's, yeah, just chaos. I mean, to be fair, getting off the flights, we're getting on one of them stupid buses that bring you to the terminal, like the baggage area. That's all right. And we're getting through pretty quick, but it was just the chaos at the other end. Yeah, there's a whole flight coming off, and having nobody knew they haven't what was going on. Nah. There's some guy just shouting at me. Just shouting over across it. He's like, wait. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> but anyway, we haven't got to collect any bags because we've got hand luggage. We're straight through. It's one of the beauties of doing this. Hand luggage only. You're out. Once you're stamped, you're gone. And it looks like even the baggage reclaim. People are getting their bags and they're gone. So we're just going to quickly pop the toilet. We're going to get a taxi and we're going to get across the ride with that town. We've actually landed about 10 minutes early as well. Which, bearing in mind, we took off a bit late. We've landed early, so... You kind of win. It's probably been about two and a half hours. So anyway, we're going to get ourselves out and we're going to get a taxi. Outside, you'll see a massive queue of taxis. We turned right, there's like a place you can sit, it's like a bus shelter. It's maximum four people, and there's a guy there just directing, and he'll tell you exactly where to go. And we were in within less than a minute, probably. We got in the queue and we're straight away. So let's see what this is like on the way, and we'll let you know how much it costs when we get there. First things first, the taxi cost 16 euros 20. So it's not too bad, like I said, it was only 10 minutes, didn't take long at all. So anyway, we're checked in, we're gonna give you the room tour and then we'll tell you how we're checked in. It was, it's been a bit of a strange process and not something we've had to do before for our hotel. But we'll show you the room first and then we'll tell you how we've checked in. Okay, so let's go and see the room. Welcome to Ibiza. <laughs> I think you forgot where you were for a minute there, didn't you? This is the room. It's actually quite it's massive actually. It's quite decent big. size room. Mm -hmm. Well we're not gonna go ball and jatty, there's people downstairs. <laughs> this is the room, we have two beds, and um, beds seem really comfortable, quite nice. We've had a little lie down, Max is good. Two single beds, mm -hmm. table and chair. Aircon, although it's pointing to nowhere. nowhere yes, yeah. it's keeping the room cool. You can feel it when you're coming, though. Can't right. you? Yeah, I've got TV. I'm not sure if that works. I'm assuming it does, but I'll try it again. Have the safe. Yeah. We have a um, iron. Mm -hmm. 
chemicals by mess. Um, some little boards. Uh, you have a kitchenette, so we have microwave and um, plates, quite a lot of plates and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, oh. Sangria jug, Jackie. Yeah, jug. Yeah. Cups. Oh, I know. I know that's that's an extractor, actually, Jatty. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, you've got a little complimentary cleaning jacket. pack. That's good, yeah. yeah, washing up kit. Yeah, that's all right. In other words, do the dishes so the cleaners don't have <laughs> the, to do it. Um, yeah, that one doesn't shut. Uh, we've got a fridge, which I think the door you said was yeah, open. It was, it was open. Yeah, it was open. Yeah. But it's clean, so it's alright. In here we have a kettle, toaster, pan, and a frying pan. Probably not a pan underneath. Just... We've got your hob, you've got a nice and stuff, and um, bottle opener. It's quite well stocked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well stocked, yeah. yeah. And then we have the bathroom, which is also quite big to be fair. You get the towels, toilet paper, BD, bath. There's a shower. I've actually got shower gel, I think. Yeah, there is. Oh, hair dryer, which looks actually pretty new ish. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a big mirror. There's no stool. That's a bit of a shower. Drawers. And you've got an um, iron board, so that's good. That's good, yeah. And then you have the balcony. You've got the balcony, which is actually. And all Good size, size, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I heard, like, people said they were quite small, but this is quite This is size. actually quite big. It's definitely no smaller than Mama had in Turkey, to be fair. It's, it's, it's probably a bit bigger. It's a bit wider, isn't it? Turkey, yeah. But this in pool view. Yeah, you got pool view. That's a different hotel. Yeah. So this hotel over here is called the Panorama Garden. And the one we're stopping in is the tropical garden, so they're just kind of opposite each other. The check-in process was a bit different with this one because we actually had to check in online, which we've never had to do before. When I, I got the booking.com confirmation through, and I think it was about 72 hours or something before we came out, I got an email to say check in online, which I've never had to do with a hotel before. I've done it with no, flights and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it was that's a bit of a, a different process because Obviously you go in, you put all your details in as you normally would, you check in online, you've got to put your passport details in, all that kind of stuff, your address. But when we got here, we still had to kind of check in, which I kind of thought we'd just have to get our, our key card, and that, that would pretty much be it, or they'd have like an automated kind of screen or something that you see in a lot of hotels now. But we still had to like queue and wait to check in, so that was a bit of a strange process, we never had to do that before. But never mind. It was, it was, I mean, yeah, it's a bit quieter. And we've got planes okay, going over. Like yeah, we're pretty much <laughs> at the end of the runway. But never mind, we paid for five nights here. It was 503 euro, just over 503 euro, which worked out at about 446 pounds, I think it was. But we'll, we'll put the price down here anyway. It was about 400 and odd pounds, which is probably a little bit more than we'd usually want to pay. Especially at this time of year, but we, we did, I mean, this, because it was last minute, we did kind of struggle to find places that might be open. There wasn't many places. A lot of places we booked up, actually. Yeah, yeah. Especially around here, um, because I think a lot of people are probably deviating towards town at this time of year. Because I think a lot of the resorts around here have started closing down. I think stuff might still be going on in San Antonio, but we don't know. But we didn't really want to stay there. So we're not really here for club and kind of holiday but never mind that's a little kind of travel day to day that's kind of how much it's cost with today that's how much Ryanair was the things on board how much they cost so if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up let us know in the comments about your Ryanair experiences because I know a lot of people have had bad experiences with Ryanair so it would be interesting to know if anybody has had any bad experience. Give us some good experience as well. It's always good to know. Don't forget to leave your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel which is free. And in the next episode we'll be exploring Ibiza Town. See you in the next episode. Bye.
Right. Right. <laughs> Let's sort of like get them. I'm very well not to have. So, I'll probably, are you going to the toilet? Yeah, I'm busy. I'm waiting for you to finish the video. <laughs> Just go anyway. <laughs>